Now the next trimetod is Clonorchis sinensis. So this is also named as the Chinese liver fluke. So its geographical distribution, it is found in Far East China and Japan. So adult form measures about 10 to 25 mm and 3 to 5 mm in width. It's having the olor sucker, which is slightly larger than the ventral sucker and which is situated between the first and second third of the body. It has two branched testes situated one behind the other in the posterior third of the body. Ovary is situated above the testes. So vital area extends throughout the middle third of body. And X they measure 25 to 35 micrometer into 10 to 20 micrometer. They are oidal, thick, yellowish brown and have a distinct convex operculum. So these are very unique characters because you have already studied about the trematodes, they having the flat body and uh, these are the unique characters which, are, which make it special trematode uh, than the other trematodes. So this you can see the mature clonorchis here. This is the oral sucker. Now this having the ventral sucker and there is intestinal cica. Pharynx is present. Vital line glands on the lateral sides are present. Ovary is present uh, having the large uterus and testes in the posterior half. And egg. This is embryonated egg. You can see the egg. So generally uh, this uh, liver fluke it resides in the biliary duct and occasionally in pancreatic duct. So definitely host is dog, cat, man and other mammals and intermediate host are bulimus snail and freshwater fishes. So adult liver fluke live in the bile duct and lay fully developed eggs. When these are ingested by the appropriate snail, the miracidium larva hatches and develops into the sporocyst which later produce the radia containing the lophoceres cercaria. So these escape from the snail and swim in water until coming in contact with the freshwater fishes where the cercaria penetrate under the skin and insist there. So 23 days are needed for essential development in the fish. So when an infected fish is eaten by the men, the metacercaria insist in the duodenum and enter the common bile duct where it mature in about one month. The whole life cycle is completed in about three months. So you can see that the, there are different uh, host as uh, definitive host dog, cat, man and intermediate host bully, musk, snail and freshwater fishes. So this is the bilary duct diagram showing the location of bilary duct. Here the pancreatic duct, duodenum, and this is a gallbladder, and this is the opening of the bile duct. So as uh, very common in the trematodes that they are forming the many larval forms. So here also you can see the many larval forms. So eggs which are just produced by the mature one. Uh, in the men, uh, in the in the body of host, men, dog, and kid, pig. So these uh, when re release the capsules having the miracidium. So then miracidium, sporocyst, radia, and cercaria. If these all stages of larval forms, they are passed in the snail. So after that, metacercaria is formed, which is ancestral form, and it is uh, uh, it is just having in the cyprinoid fish. So you can see the structures of these uh, larvals. So this is the clonorchis whole adult worm. This is a this one is a cercaria larva which is a, showing the presence of uh, tail and you can see the ciliated miracidium and this is operculated egg and you can see the sporocyst and this is the radium. So in its life cycle, let's understand with the help of diagram. 
so as de definitely hosts are man dog and cat and pig and indefinite or inter intermediate hosts are snail of subfamily bulimine and intermediate second intermediate host is the cyprinoid fish so this is uh, some what is the fish and here you can find the metacercaria larva which are uh, present in the skin of the or flesh of the fish it is taken up by the men so in the men these are existing in the duodenum and then uh, adults these are residing in the biliary duct and where uh, the fertilized eggs are formed or embryonated eggs are formed which are passed in the feces so these embryonated eggs these now give rise to the first larva form which is named as miracidium so miracidium this these eggs are just ingested by the snail here miracidium sporocyst radia and cercaria larval stages are passed out so miracidium change into sporocyst sporocyst give rise to radia and radia will give rise to cercaria then cercaria larva which is having the tail it is free swimming larva which encyst in the skin or flesh of the freshwater fish so this this is uh, just encysted in, in the form of meta cercaria in the fish again taken up by the men so uh, this is how the life cycle continues you can also see uh, through this diagram that this is a mature one and uh, uh, this is a mature one residing in the biliary duct of men and then uh, uh, animal reservoirs can be dogs cats and pig etc so uh, just releasing the ovum uh, eggs which are operculated and these uh, this operculated eggs ingested by the snail and in the snail which is a first intermediate host then there are the many stages miracidium sporocyst and radia and cercaria are formed then cercaria which swims and this is taken up by the fish and in in the fish muscles it gets attached with the in, with the formation of uh, cyst wall formation it changes into metacercaria and then again taken up by the uh, animal reservoirs or by the and by the men so this is a poster which is made by the student one of the student uh, showing the life cycle of clonorchis sinensis so she uh, is she has uh, beautifully uh, explained it with the help of some diagrams so this is the these are the different larva forms which are just in present in the snail and this is a metacercarial stage which is present in the fish and this is the adult one which reside in the biliary duct of man and this one is the embryonated egg so pathogenicity so man acquires an infection by eating raw or inadequately cooked dried salty or pickled fresh water fish that have the encysted metacercaria so pollution of fresh water by feces or infected animals also contribute to the infection rate so it causes a disease named as a clonorchiasis so this is a uh, diagram pix showing the uh, symptoms of clonorchiasis as well as a diphyllobothrum which was the and the cystode so i am just uh, we are just focusing on the clonorchiasis so in case of clonor cases the symptoms of raw fish infection are eyes and skin uh, they are showing the symptoms of jaundice there is enlargement of liver and tenderness there are gastrointestinal uh, problems such as nausea diarrhea vomiting abdominal pain loss of appetite etc and there is sudden and severe pain So when larva of clonorchis sinensis reach the distal bile duct and where they mature they initiate a proliferative inflammatory reaction in biliary epithelium the bile duct becomes fibrous so liver cirrhosis and biliary obstruction they, that can be caused eggs laid in the liver usually have a fibrous tissue which developed around them the patient may be asymptomatic or may complain of irregular appetite 
or fullness in the abdomen, diarrhea, edema, and hepatomegaly. In severe cases, there may be portocirrhosis, tender and large liver fever, obstructive jaundice, and polymorphonuclear leukocytosis. So, infecting agent is metasarcaria, which is encysted in the fish, portal of entry in the alimentary canal, site of localization is biliary tract of liver. So, by, for, for diagnosis, uh, it can be uh, diagnosed with the help of eggs in the stool or duodenal aspirates or some kind of eosinophila or abnormal LFT or increased bilirubin. 